Hello, dear students, with one of our new tutorials of Oxford English ESL 9280 Writing Paper Question 1 Photo Description Question As you see on the screen, in Question 1, you're given a picture and you've been asked to write a description based on the given picture. This question receives six marks for content and communication and three marks for language. So the maximum marks is given here based on the content, based on the quality of your content, how uh, organized and how well written your content is and also the communication which means your idea must be clear and easy to be understand understandable ideas okay what about the language should I use developed and advanced language or what this question doesn't focus on the language but it focuses on the content and on the communication as well so six marks are given for the content and the communication language here is given only three marks let's read this example of a description and then we'll comment on its quality then we're gonna study each word equally and independently here as you see in the picture you can see some mist you see some mountains with some ice water and some bushes here is a house and as you can imagine the picture what you can see the water is green why the water is green because the green bushes and the mountain are reflected on the water so the water heat is a mixture of green shapes as you see or green shadows and also uh, the mist is also reflected on the water so let's start reading the description to see how the student already fulfilled the task here he said the picture is an alluring demonstration of a clear lake we started by saying the picture the picture is what is a demonstration it's a clarification it's an explanation demonstrate means to explain of what of a clear lake clear lake so this is a lake this is the clear lake encircled by mountains he said that the lake is encircled means is surrounded here by <coughs> um, the mountains in the back drop he means in the back there um, in the back sides of the picture with the house so he jumped into describing another part in the picture which is what with a house having a sloping roof on one side this is a description of what description of the house the house already have some sloping or like a cone um, shape the clear lake water mm, he went back again to the clear walk um, the clear water of the lake by saying exhibits exhibits means shows or displays the mountains shadows so we can see shadow of the mountain shadow of the clouds and shadows of the trees so he said here with one sentence the clear lake water exhibits the mountain shadows clouds and trees here is a linking word he connected ideas by using a 
linking words and it's one way again to make your idea coherent and clear and understandable the peaks have deep gray and orange color the peaks he means the peaks of the mountain the top the summits of the mountain have deep gray gray and orange color is a good description of what you can see and a small part is receiving sunshine it means the whole part is foggy cloudy just a simple part is excluded of this fog receiving a sunshine it means this is the only part is sunny the quality of the photo suggests that a seasoned photographer has taken it this is a general ending of the description as you see the description on the screen is 70 words you are asked to write between 30 to 50 words just to note the word limit in this question is just approximate what we mean by approximate we mean that you can write more than 50 words so the student here wrote 70 words what matters in this question is the content and the communication must be clear to get the six marks for the content and for the language as you see here um, grammar is perfect punctuation is excellent linking words are used effectively and also the spelling there is no spelling error in this description this is how to describe a picture let's see here the examiner comments examiner comments on this answer this is the success criteria on your writing success criteria so please pay attention to all the um, blue words here because these are the criteria on which your work is assessed he said here the response is relevant and what we mean by relevant here it means it achieved the task you already described what you see on the screen you didn't describe something away from what is given in the picture this what we mean by relevant it means what's already given on the photo and detailed good way that you described all what you can see in detail with clear communication this what matters as we agreed earlier clear communication is highly recommended because you will lose marks if communication is not clear in term of language as well look here spelling and punctuation are accurate greatly recommended to pay attention to your spelling and your punctuation okay um, in term of vocabulary you're not recommended to use the complex vocabulary complex vocab is not required in this question except pay attention to this exception except you are able to write its spelling correctly okay because if you use these advanced words and your spelling is not accurate you will lose marks look here he said simple straight vocabulary and accurately spelled is the most effective way to respond to this question so students this is Oxford recommendation 
students don't need to use complex language. He named it as elaborate language. You don't need to use the elaborate or ex complex language as this may cause error in term or with regard to spelling. So recommend you to use the regular vocabulary that mainly descriptive this is what matters is to make your vocabulary descriptive as we did here in the previous example he already used alluring demonstration clear encircled by um sloping groove on the side exhibits shadows clouds trees and deep gray and orange color and a small part receiving a sunshine all the words that are used here in the description are simple words but they are accurate words go back again so what matters to me is to show that you are skillful in description you can describe accurately what you can see using the symbol and correctly spelled vocabulary this is very necessary okay so now we understand that in this question you are assessed based on relevance of ideas you describe what you already see on the picture not anything external and you give a great detailed description communication is clear spelling and punctuation vocabulary is not necessarily to be complex and highly advanced vocabulary but if you used advanced vocabulary surely this is better what matters is to be accurate in term of spelling and punctuation what to describe on the picture what to describe pay attention to um, these expressions and um, these useful phrases that you need to learn to insert in your writing number one you can describe the setting and we mean by the setting what is in the place what you can see on the picture describe what you can see in the picture places if you see places means if it's a lake it's a mountain it's a house um, there are some animals like dinosaurs crocodiles and so on or if you see people humans if you see places like a house like a room a hotel a market a grocery and so on <laughs> um, objects and also people and you can describe also where they are where they are means if they are in a hotel if they are in a hospital if they are on uh, the street maybe they are on the street they are on a boat and so on so forth number two you can describe the actions what they do either you can describe what you already see people are doing and this is what is recommended or you can expect what they may do speculate about what has happened so you can guess what has happened on the screen what has happened on the picture Get, expect um, these consequences on the screen are consequences or results of what what causes the scatters of the objects in the room there may be a fight or combat between brothers or you can describe also what's happening what's happening so it means what's already now happens you can see currently on the picture 
or you can describe what's going to happen it means what will or may happen and finally you can expect how people feel if they are cheer or they are disappointed okay or uh, you may see um, people angry you may see people and so on so describe how they feel three and this is one of the greatest way to describe is to describe the locations of the objects on the picture as we said in the previous example on the backdrop we describe the mountain that they are in the backdrop and we said in the middle there was a house okay great look at these expressions study them at the bottom at the top and the foreground in the middle and the background and the left in the bottom right hand corner or on the left or on the right corner to start your description you should start with one of the following the first sentence is an overall impression of the photo what we mean by overall impression of the photo in other words what you generally see so you give me an overall it means you give me a general impression or a general hint about the picture like you can use one of these phrases this picture shows this picture demonstrates in the previous example we used the word exhibits in the same meaning as demonstrates you can say also this is a picture of what yeah a picture of a lake as we did this image depicts a clear lake so we can say also this picture shows or exhibits or demonstrates a clear lake surrounded by mountains in the photograph you can say also there is a lake or there are some mountains and some bushes let's have a first example of the first impression of the description so this is the first sentence this is the first sentence of your description begin your description with this is a picture of an engine lady shopping for vegetables in the local market in this line we explained what the picture is about this is an overall impression what they doing so we describe their action as we mentioned also we describe the objects in the photo that they um, are shopping for vegetables where they are um, they are in the local market so finally here just to recap what we explain the general hint can be who is on the picture what is on the picture um, the place is what and the action is what I mean what people are doing on the picture great let's go on helpful phrases and sentence to use if you are describing a mountain on the picture 10 examples here to describe all around the mountains you can say the mountains were bone white or oh, a wall of snow came crashing down as you see in the previous picture we already found some snow on the photo three the mountains were crinkled at the top 
And crankle means um, not straight. The mountains are not straight. And we mean also by crinkled that it has a lot of wrinkles or crook. It's crooked. It means like this. Like zigzagged. Then they wear sky piercing. The foot of one mountain was covered in mist. You can say the mountain peaks were like a row of arrow tips. You can say we could see some deer clattering across the mountain. Clattering is described a sound that you can hear. So clattering means like chatter or talk. Okay, a sound that you can hear. Like if there is some rustles or some roars of animals. Here, the air felt ice cold. We could smell stewed mutton coming from a camp. And stewed is like a cocked and mutton means like a, the meat of a sheep. Okay? We tasted some and it was austral. Let's continue um, our description in the next slide. So, if we want to describe a beautiful scene, a beautiful view, a natural scene, we can say the air seemed scented with a sweet aroma of flowers. Sweet aroma means odor, the scent of the flowers. Here, low hills ringed the valley, rolling away into a blue haze of high mountains peaks. And this is if you want to describe a series of hills in a greatest way, you can say it's ringed. Ringed means like circle the valley. So the low hills is encircling the valley, rolling around or rolling away into a blue haze of high peaks. Then you can say in the distance, it means in a far distance, towered a snow-caped, beautifully symmetrical volcanic mountains. Beautifully symmetrical volcanic mountains. Symmetrical means like balanced. Okay. Or identical. Balanced or identical for thick heavy branches and lush dense foliage provided a cool shelter for my languid afternoons foliage means the leaves of the trees okay so and, and dense means condensed very thick condensed it means very Thick, thick, heavy branches and lush, dense foliage provided a cool shelter for many languid afternoons. And a uh, languid afternoons, languid means a uh, lazy, or when something lack has a lack of energy, you name it as languid, lacking of strength and so on. Five, washed and dusted, the trees glittered. Glittered means sparkle. Or became bright. If you want to describe the sea view, you can say beautiful branches or beaches encircled the island. Or the ocean seems to be gleaming a luminous blue. 3. The Atlantic spread out before them like a piece of pale blue china. 4. A gentle breeze came up to sin, white drifts of sea water over the beach, and the soothing, repetitive sounds of the lapping waves came together in a gentle 
hypnotic melody casting a spell of serene tranquility over the mesmerizing scene. All of these words are very good way to describe the scene of water. <coughs> if you want to describe a dull scenery, it means the place you see is dull, which means like gloomy. Dull means gloomy, dark, okay? Um, the gray brown land was devoid of life. Devoid means empty of life except for an occasional snake. The recent rains had dampened the wild flowers in the fields and they now look battered and bedraggled. Bedraggled is like a dissolved. Okay, the place is very empty and battered means like a something smashed if something is attacked or crushed okay if you grinded something and it became um, squelched became smashed you described it as battered and bedraggled means dissolved so he's trying again here to describe as the place is really empty it means no life is there so the place is dull the countryside here a wash was a wash with sheeting rain howling with boisterous winds and robbed of all color by the ashen skies. Boisterous means like if a place is windy or stormy. So he's describing here the countryside is as with a sheeting rain. There is a great rain howling. It means like a, some rustles are around if there is a sound of the wind. Winds and robbed of all color. Robbed of all color it means colorless colorless so there is no color everything is gray and dark in the distance giant overarching trees overarching trees means comprehensive compre comprehensive bunch of trees or let's say name it as full embracing embrace you know what's embrace like a hug when you have a hug with somebody full embracing trees it means like um, swirling its arms around somebody or something reach toward the sky the dense foliage casting a mosaic of shadows on the ground casting a mosaic of shadows mosaic is like a picture or some design of shadows a drawing or a picture of shadows on the ground meet you in the next tutorial in a different question see you goodbye